Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got another Reddit video. However, we're going to be straying away from my subreddit, which, by the way, is slash r slash submissions if you want to submit your own post. But we're going to be looking at slash r slash tf2, the main tf2 Reddit. And you know, me and the tf2 Reddit have had our differences. They don't seem to be huge fans of me. However, I thought it'd be quite interesting to look at the all-time most upvoted posts on here. So, I mean, there's a ton of stuff stuff here. I mean, some of these posts have well over 10,000 upvotes, which is uh, a little bit impressive if you ask me. But yeah, there's a ton of posts here. That I consider these to be like, not necessarily the best memes, but like, this is the memes that, or, or, or the posts, or shit posts, I should say, that everyone seemed to love. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So this first post is called I'm Sorry, right? We've got a Keep Net Neutrality one from a year ago, so I don't think that's very TF2 related. So uh, most people rejected his message. Jungle update name. I think it would be called Jungle Inferno. Just throwing in a guess. Zero points, 43% upvoted. They hated blubbery Bolshevik because he told them the truth. Yo, that man actually predicted the update name and everyone, everyone hated on him, you know? Everyone, this man got it spot on. Zero, zero upvotes, you know, 43% upvoted. You've got to feel bad for him at that point, you know? He got the update name spot on. I think he's actually a Valve rep and he, he, was, he was going undercover as a fan. That's what I reckon. No one gets it that accurate. When someone destroys your mini century. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> is this like a... I feel like this has got to be a reference to another meme or something. And this one's just gone right over my head. Like, I can understand why it's funny, because it's a shame now he's got to kill him with 17 crits, but it's like... I feel like there's a reference that I'm definitely missing here, so let me know in the comments down below. This one is literally just called O dot 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 and has 14,000 upvotes. Like, this thing has got to be... Wait, some guy... On hashtag Team Pyro. Imagine going through nine months of pregnancy to give birth to a child who doesn't push the fuck. Oh no. Yeah, imagine giving birth to a child and they they just don't push the payload. Like realistically, you've got to give up on your kid at that point, you know what I mean? And raising them as well. You've got to have raised them for a good amount of years and you just see them not pushing the payload. That is like a failed parenting moment, if you ask me. Yo, this is one of the most upvoted posts of all time from a year ago. It's out the junk. Yo, just looking at this is bringing back so many memories, man. What a beautiful time this was. When this update was announced, there was so much hype. I remember they did four days, I think it was, uh, on the blog post. And everyone was so hyped because they were just like four days of different content and different things being unveiled, man. Holy shit, this update is bringing back a lot of memories. I wish we could get this feeling again, you know? Like, this was such a pop in time. Like, just the comments, like... Settle in, folks. We got ourselves a four-day update. Dude, this was such a good time period, man. Oh, you can just tell how hyped everyone was, man, in the community. Like, it was such a beautiful time. We need... Oh, if we got something like this again, man, holy shit. This one is called Facts, and it's got pictures of different metals in it. Like, I'm, I'm intrigued by this one. I don't care what anyone says, but this was the original cryptocurrency. You're forgetting earbuds, you know. Earbuds were essentially like the Bitcoin of Team Fortress 2. Like, this was... Before Bitcoin was Bitcoin, Team Fortress 2 had earbuds, and that's fact. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, that's quite a funny post, though, I've got to admit. Anon dies. Is this a post from 4chan, I think? It looks like a 4chan post. 2080, on deathbed. Heart monitor on one side. Computer searching for competitive match on the other. Family says their tearful goodbye. Heart rate monitor slowing. Beep. 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 Look over at the computer. Your match is ready. Eyes closing. Drifting away. The last thing you see before the sweet release of death. You're on your way to CDF Turbine. That's so funny, but you just got to think practically, you know. Can you have a gaming computer next to a life support machine? I'm not sure which one should get priority of power, and that is an issue that is definitely being overlooked in this post. Who killed Engineer? This one has 10k upvotes. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I've seen the original of this. I've just completely forgotten what it is. So, once again, that one's just gone over my head. This one's called Why It Has 10.2K Upvotes. And we're also opening Medic Wave as well. Why would you do this? Sniping's a good job, mate. Oh, no. This is just saying that Overwatch classes have copied TF2 classes. And uh, I'm not getting involved. Medic Wave. Oh, my God. 
Yo, that's uh, that's actually so satisfying to watch. I know it's like lagging because my internet is trash at the moment, but like, look how satisfying that is to watch. Can you imagine how long this thing took to set up? This would have taken so bloody long to get everyone lined up and timed it perfectly. Like, can you imagine doing this and the person right at the very end like times it wrong? You'd be so annoyed at them. This is, I love this though. I love the dedication to this. It, it's so satisfying to watch. If you remember this, you're qualified for an extra, to get an extra veterans cosmetic. Yo, the quick play. Yo, if you remember, if you remember quick play, you're a real OG. It's, it's quite surprising to me that there's people who probably watching this video that never even experienced the game when quick play was a thing. And I know a lot of people missed it as well. This was like way back in the day. I remember when they got rid of quick play, all the like OG players were a bit annoyed about it. But I remember this menu, man. I remember it very clearly to this day. Yeah, the top comment, who doesn't remember quick play? And two months ago, someone said it's almost been three years. So, I mean, that says everything you need to know. This is the idea, the idea, soldier loader. I guess it's meant to say ideal. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Oh, God, I can just see by the preview exactly what that is. Oh, God. It is... Wow. I mean... You've got to respect the dedication, you know. Each cosmetic is kill streak as well, so he's got that going for him. Look at the face. There's just something so unsettling about that face. Thomas the Tank Engine looking ass. This is my world. You are not welcome in my world. The soldier from TF2 says a lot of goofy stuff, but honestly, if God had wanted you to live, he would not have created me as a pretty raw life. Yo, that actually is hard, you know. I can imagine a, like a act... Like, I could imagine someone saying that in an action film. That was... A pretty impressive one from the soldier. Original joke, please do not steal. Okay, this is epic. I mean, yeah, I like that a lot. Until you get more kills and it becomes Hale's own, then it's, okay, this is Hale's own, which doesn't really have the same ring to it. Surprise will always be hated. Me in a happy mood. A Trojan horse with new items. TFT. <laughs> and then crates in the middle. The amount of times this has happened, or they'll be like, like a weapon you've already got five of, so it's completely useless. I lo that is a that's a top quality meme, you know. I love the Trojan horse meme. Current state of the TF2 community. Oh, this is coming back. Why does it always have to hit me in the jungle inferno fields, you know? Why are we always coming back to the four-day update, man? This is really making me, like, just think... We need this again, you know? Like, look how hyped everyone was. Most of the top posts on this Reddit are about Jungle Inferno. Everyone completely overlooking day one and looking towards day two, but that's not the point, all right? The point is, there was four days of nothing but hype, and, and we need that again, you know? Look at, oh, that's a quality meme. Two Fortnite. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact it took me that long to realize what this was just means I am incredibly low IQ today. 2-4 at night is much better than Fortnite. I mean, I can't comment, so good post though. I like that. I like how long it took me to actually clock that as well. Be me, an 18-year-old virgin in high school. Get made fun of for my childish, feminine voice. No Adam's apple. Puberty.exe has stopped working. Go home and boot up TF2. Join random trade server. Wait for six hours as my hard drive is filled up with random custom assets. Finally get to spawn. Choose sniper. Turn on my mic and begin speaking. Oh my god, is that a girl? Get free unusual from some weirdo. Five medics constantly following me. So that makes you the real winner here, you know? Like, that's so funny, but the fact you, like, if it was, uh, presuming this actually happened, the fact you went along with it to get the free unusual is dedication as well. I like, I like that a lot. Me when I'm on this subreddit. TF2 fans from America, England, ETC, cosplaying or having fun together IRL. TF2 fans from small countries with a very small to no TF2 fan base. Oh, man. Oh, man, why do you have to hit me in the feels like that? Like, you see it all the time at conventions of, like, people dressing up and stuff, and you never really think about the people that... Maybe you aren't from somewhere where there's conventions and stuff held. That, you really hit me in the feels with that one. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, and this last screenshot says, Last night I was touched by the hand of Gabe. Bless his kind heart. And there it is. A golden pan drop. On his 18th tour as well. I know people that have done hundreds of tours, man. That is so crazy. I like... I can literally imagine this being like something from like a film where Gabe comes down in the night 
And so, so it just gives you the message to go on MVM. You go straight on and you get that golden pan. That is incredible. I, I, I don't know anyone actually that's been in the same game as someone that had a golden pan drop. So that's incredibly rare, man. I mean, it, this was four months ago, but congratulations regardless. But guys, that's just about it for this video. If you did enjoy them, please do remember to leave a like. And let me know your thoughts down below. Um, if Once again, my subreddit's down below if you want to go and check that out. And uh, this is just from the main TF2 subreddit. But uh, yeah, thanks again so much for watching and peace. I'm just cooling with a lamb like a spaceship. I don't wanna talk now, I just wanna go out now. Shawty bring him racks out, watch me fucking ball out. Backwood coughing, gas got me nauseous, got them all plotting fake.